he's not painting landscapes or portraits of his favorite people, Glendon McFarlane is a painter that is compassionate to charitable causes. That is why he's teamed up with 42 artists from the St. Louis area to launch a very important project of empathy titled 42 Doors of Hope. Each artist is assigned a door to paint on with his her own theme for this project. Glendon's door illustrates a man and seven women with gestures of support towards a cancer patient with outstretched arms while they responded with smiles, kindness and empathy to this patient. The patient is enveloped on both sides with the American flag, which in the painting symbolizes national unity and the American spirit of giving. Then below a landscape scene of popular landmarks of St. Louis, such as the old courthouse and Stan Musial Bridge, with the towering gateway arch in the background. This painting captures the very kind and bounteous nature of the people of St. Louis. The painting exhibits warmth and friendliness by the community of St. Louis who have always been very kind donors to charitable causes such as cancer research and care for patients. All doors will be installed on these newly renovated rooms at the Hope Lodge, a facility owned by the American Cancer Society to which all donations are funded. Glendon's motivation with this painting to disturb people's thoughts and consciences to urgently support the Hope Lodge facility of the American Cancer Society on Lindell Boulevard through donations. That facility is presently undergoing renovations to provide additional accommodation for 42 people and is seeking assistance to raise $1 million for these renovations. This is a call for the community to show their support by participation in this event through the viewing of all 42 doors that are scattered at different venues around St. Louis County and City. Glendon's door is presently at the Ferguson Brewing Company on 418 South Florissant Road in Ferguson, Missouri and is accessible to the public for viewing and photographs outside at the entrance of the building. You may also visit the website for information on the locations for all the other doors as well as to make a contribution to this project by clicking on the link below.